I just thought I'd do a little bit of a, a clip um, on what they call the um, engine watchdog uh, TM4 unit uh, which I bought. I got it from Australia. Um, good service, uh, good website as well. It sort of explains what it all does. And I fitted this unit onto um, 300 TDI. Um, that's the brochure there for it. The TM4 one um, gives you um, two methods of uh, measuring temperature, one for the engine and one for the transmission. But what I've done is use both uh, temperature measures um, on the cylinder head for the 300 TDI just so I can keep an eye on what's going on. Also it has a, a function that you can fit on for low pressure uh, oil alarm. So I plumbed it all in. Um, so there's the overview of the engine there, 300 TDI. And what I've done with the sensors um, is I've fitted one to the um, top of the coolant um, thermostat and then the other sensor I fitted just down on the cylinder head might be a little bit dark there and uh, just on the cylinder head just down in here there's a bolt hole uh, M8 um, nut thread 1.5 um, pitch and it fits in there nicely and I've just run the um, cables for it from the along the head nice neat run and then in through the bulkhead um, the oil um, pressure one I've just run through the bulkhead here and I put some conduit on it run it down and again it's probably a little bit too dark but just fitted it to the pressure switch on the um, housing and um, I think it's a good unit to fit on the 300 TDI for many reasons um, they do have a reputation for getting a little bit hot um, I've never personally experienced that and I just think that's probably due to bad maintenance or not tracking cooling hoses and things but Anyway, there's nothing wrong with being uh, preventative in your maintenance. Um, so I fixed the pipes on there and I'll just run inside the cab so you could just have a quick look at it and see what it looks like inside. So the unit, um, when you get the unit, it actually, uh, for wiring it into the cab, it actually comes with one of those accessory plug lighters which I've just put in for now just temporary because uh, what I'll do is um, if I'm happy with where the unit's situated I'll wire it up hard wire it up into the um, where I've done the um, exhaust uh, gas temperature one uh, and that'll just make it a little bit more neater but for the time being that's how I've wired it up so the way it works is is um, I'll put the key in the ignition on I've set the temperature alarm they're at 91 degrees uh, and the delayed alarm is to do with the oil pressure unit so if I actually leave leave that and uh, not uh, start the engine the alarm will come on saying that I've got low oil pressure which is obvious because the engine's not running so there we go so if you do for whatever reason drop your oil or you get a low oil pressure for whatever reason on your on your engine that's just a good little alarm there and just um, brings your attention to it. So it's saying the <coughs> engine oil uh, alarm and then engine and transmission 1313. So I've got both of those connected to the cylinder head as I stated, but you can connect it to the uh, transmission uh, if you want. Interestingly enough, they do give you the option uh, with it and thinking about it, I perhaps should have um, took that option is where you could have both reads in, readings on here saying engine and engine, if so, but either way I know where they're connected so it doesn't really worry me. So that's the unit there uh, and it's quite good. Interestingly, the engine one I've got um, connected to the thermostat housing which is always running a, about... Uh, uh, depending on what I'm doing with the car anywhere from 80 degrees up to 86 but the one on the bottom of the cylinder head this one the transmission one when the engine's running it always runs six degrees higher always uh, no matter what I do with the vehicle up a steep hill general running around town or this that and the other it continually runs six degrees higher which is interesting because if I didn't have the gauge on I wouldn't know that and that's at the bottom of the head um, just where it interfaces with the block uh, so what I've done is I've, I've set that alarm temperature up there at um, about 92 degrees just to give me some kind of indication of when it starts to climb. It does tie in with the, um, the gauge here 
Uh, but what I've noticed is, is that this actual temperature gauge uh, from the engine watchdog is far more responsive. So that will start changing. Um, it changes in one degree intervals uh, much, much more quickly than what you ever see your gauge on your dash uh, move. So if you do blow a hose uh, or anything like that and it results in a, an increase in engine temperature, this is going to pick it up straight away, plus it's alarmed. So I actually think it's quite a good unit to fit to the 300 TDI because it just takes away that uh, business of worrying about whether your engine is going to overheat or not. And if it does, this will indicate straight away whether it is. So that's the engine uh, watchdog. There's the instructions for it. That's the TM4. I recommend you go on the website. Uh, I'll just Google uh, engine watch, watchdog. Um, uh, the website there is enginewatchdog.com. I actually personally think it's a good unit. Personally, really easy to fit as well. Took me literally 10 minutes to fit the unit from start to finish. And there's sufficient holes in your bulkhead already under your uh, steering wheel area there to get to get the penetrations that you need to get the uh, wires plugged onto the cylinder head. So that's me signing off now. I hope you found it useful. Um, and if you um, have any comments, please feel free to put them on. Thanks.